They want to show you a new tool to find new leads and get new clients as a freelancer. This works particularly well if you're a photographer, a videographer, a web designer or anything content creation related. So if you're ready to get started, then grab your snacks, get comfortable and let's get cracking. What's up guys, my name is Francois, welcome to the channel and today I want to show you a new tool that will help you hopefully get new clients, build a new relationship and make more money as a freelancer. The tool is very simple, it's called Scrap.io and here's how it works. Basically what it is, is a tool that uses all the data that um, businesses list on their Google Maps profile and shows it to you in a user-friendly and easy to digest way. And the key bits that they have is that you can actually target uh, businesses that work in a particular industry that for example that you want to serve and in an area that you also want to operate in. So let me show you exactly how it works. So if you get onto the website and get to that link I've got in the description below, you'll end up on the page looking like this. And you can see there's a tab that starts with activity. And essentially all it is is it corresponds to the industry that Google Maps makes you enter when you uh, register your business on their profile. So there's a whole bunch of different varieties of industries you can choose from. But for the scenario of the video, just for the, uh, the sake of the example, let's just say that I am a photographer uh, operating in Canterbury in Kent in the UK. And I want to find new clients in food retail industry. So all I would have to do is go on this website and in the activity look for restaurants and let me show you exactly what happens when you do so. There you go. So you have the general restaurant industry, so the activity that basically is food retail, but you have like a whole load more options to choose from. So you have four restaurants, walk restaurant, Thai restaurant, and as you can see as I scroll down, it goes on for ages. <laughs> so that's actually really cool because Obviously, this is just the food retail industry, but there are loads and loads of other industries, basically every single industry there is on Google Maps. If you happen to be a photographer that specializes in Canadian restaurants and Canadian food, then that's what you would choose. But let's just say I want to target all restaurants. Then the next filter you have available to you is the country. So obviously I'm in the UK, so I'm going to choose that and go to the level one and choose England. Then the level two allows you to basically narrow it down even further and basically choose businesses that are closer to you. So I'm in the southeast of England, but you know, let's say for the sake of the example, I don't want to travel to the north of England. I just don't want to drive and have the expenses and things like that. Because as a freelancer, you need to also think about the costs and, and whether or not it's worth your you know, traveling time. So let's say for the example of now, I would just want to you know, go to only my county, which is Kent. So I'm just going to type in Kent in the search box here. And that would then allow me to choose a city. You don't have to enter a city if you, you know, if you don't want to just shoehorn yourself into just one town. But you could do that if you wanted to. So for now, I'm just going to choose basically restaurants in a particular city and I'm going to enter Canterbury. And once you've done all those filters and you've entered all those filters, just press search and scrap.io will um, basically think and return a whole list of every single business that has been registered on Google Maps as a restaurant and in Canterbury. And that's amazing because it doesn't just give you a list of the names, it gives you a whole bunch of other options which we'll go through uh, right now. So let's say you're not actually a photographer, you're more into digital marketing and SEO and online reputation. You could then use the Google Maps rating to filter the businesses that you want to contact. Maybe you want to contact the businesses with a low rating so that you can help them improve and that will be a very good place to start. You can also have comments and, and reviews. Uh, you can see the number of pictures they have on their profile. Uh, again, if you work in the digital marketing thing or even in content creation, it's good to know if the business you're targeting has websites. You might be a web developer and a web designer and it might be actually helpful for you to have businesses that don't have yet a website because then you can actually say to them, well, it's important for businesses, especially restaurants, to have an online presence and this is how I can help with this, this and this service. That's an, uh, another example. Then the next one is obviously email. And something to note here is um, Scrap.io is 100% GDPR compliant. All it is doing is just taking information that's publicly available on Google Maps and just putting it together in a nice, easy to use and uh, user-friendly manner. Essentially, so it's just a nice looking spreadsheet. Then the next bit you can look at is the website data. And that's actually a very powerful tool because it's not just looking at the Google Maps data. It's also looking into the source code of the websites that they have listed. If they there is one. So what that can give you is if there's uh, emails listed, if there's a contact page, if they have links to their social media accounts and also which is quite cool is you can see if there's an ad pixel 
installed on their website. The reason why that's cool is um, if you're a digital marketer, someone who helps with PPC ads and things like that, so you can actually look at businesses that have a pixel because you'll know that they already have run ads and they've been monitoring those ads and that's actually relevant to you. But you can also de do the opposite, which is look at businesses that don't have an ad pixel and contact them and say, well, look, I've, I've seen that you don't have an ad pixel on your website and that's actually uh, a very bad thing as a business that wants to grow because it means that you're not running ads, you're not trying to grow past your existing audience and we can actually help you grow with certain ads, designing them and running them and all that stuff. That's actually a good also uh, icebreaker if you want to contact those businesses. So that's all the data that's available to you via scrap.io. Now the good thing about this is you can export the data as either a CSV or an Excel spreadsheet. So all you have to do is just press export, I give it a name. So I'm just going to give it the name of restaurant in Kent, press export, let it do its thing. It'll take a while to combine all of those data in a file. But once it's done, what that does, and you can see I've done it a few times before as a test, is uh, the option to download it, as I said, as a, a CSV file, which is a comma separated value file or an Excel spreadsheet file. So I'm just going to do that, Excel spreadsheet. Now what you can do is open Google Sheets. I'm going to create a blank project, go to file, import, and import the file I've just downloaded. So the advantage of using a spreadsheet rather than the scrap.io website is that now you can actually add filters to filter by columns. So for example, if you want to access businesses that have an email address, you can actually set up a filter on that column and have the ones that don't have an email address appear at the bottom. That will just save you a lot of time filtering through all the businesses that you want to contact. Now the filter you might want to add is whether it's closed or not. So you don't want to waste time contacting businesses that are permanently shut or even just temporarily shut. So that's how Scrap.io works. And for those of you who don't know, I actually run my own business. It's a media production business. We've used this tool many times before and we've built a long-term relationship thanks to that and thanks to the ice-breaking techniques that I've showed in this video. But if you want me to go into more detail into how to write emails and how to structure uh, follow-ups so that you can actually contact new businesses without bugging them then feel free to let me know in the comments below because i'm open to doing that if you guys are interested in that if you didn't my accent so far and you want to see more of those videos on how to run a successful freelance career or how to make more money as a creative artist in general then feel free to let me know by liking the video, by leaving a comment as well, because I read all the suggestions and ideas you guys have. And if you want to learn how to make more money as a graphic designer today, there's a video for it on my channel right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.